Hi guys, it's Owen from Far Away the Dog. Uh, just giving you a quick look here at the uh, Gripping Beast plastics. Uh, these are the Viking Herdmen. So I've recently gotten interested in Saga, which is a skirmish Dark Ages uh, war game. And you don't need very many models for it, so uh, this box should certainly be a really good start, if not everything I'd need for my, my Viking uh, warband. So um, that's the box. And inside, you get some square bases. Now I've bought some additional circular bases for the game. You get two of these small sprues uh, which have some nice kind of additional command bits. So you've got a nice wolf uh, cloak there. Um, you also have a trumpet. So there's two sprues like that. There's four models between them. And there's four sprues that look like this. So very nice detail on the models. Very little um, flash detail mold lines so really nicely uh, produced and a lot of weapon variants so spears, axes, swords, uh, shields for all the models uh, so really quite a, a nice set of bits uh, you can see you know, separate knives down to apply and then the scabbards for the swords so all told all the pieces you, you could really want so uh, I'll show some assembled ones later on here are some of those uh, Vikings assembled, and they assemble up really nicely. As you can see, I put them on circular bases. Um, they have quite nice detail, and uh, there's additional pieces on the sprue. I haven't put on them yet. Uh, I haven't put on the shields, just the shields get in the way when I'm painting them. So I'll probably mount the shields on separate sticks to paint them. They, they came out quite nicely, as you can see. So on assembling these, uh, I use a, a sharp blade just to remove them from the sprue. Uh, and then with plastics, when you're cleaning it off, you can use the flat edge of the, the blade and essentially scrape it along the, the mold lines. And that removes it quite effectively. I have a couple of files there just for anything more stubborn. Um, I use this hobby glue, which will stick both metals and plastics. Uh, you have to be careful which glues you'll use, so make sure it's suitable for the material you're using. Um, but as you can see, that they've assembled quite well. So that's uh, two uh, units of four uh, herdmen to start with. I'm sure we'll see where we get, go from there. So here are the primed models. Uh, this is just a, a black spray primer uh, that I've put on them. So you gave them a fairly decent coat, so that's uh, about two blasts of uh, light spray. So you do it from about 30 centimeters away, uh, get all four kind of directions. So I spray them from this side, this side, this and this, and then a light one from the top. Um, trying to overdo it with the spray, I mean it's better to come back after it's dried a bit and do another coat. So if there's any bits I haven't quite gotten, I'll just use um, black paint and brush on to, to try and deal with it. So this is the base from which I'll paint. So I've uh, painted a few of the Vikings and, and added some more. So there's eight guys total painted. So there's four herdmen here and another four here. So I'll pick up one and have a look at it. So painting was uh, quite straightforward. Um, most of the areas got a a uh, single base coat of the colour I wanted, so here it's a uh, blue, and I mixed a small bit of gr uh, gray, um, sorry, brown into the blue just to kind of dull it down slightly so it wouldn't look too bright, it's a little bit bright under this light. Um, then there was a simple highlight where you add a little bit of bleach bone into that base colour uh, and then just touch the higher areas and then it was washed with kind of a, a dirty wash. And that's pretty much the approach for all of these areas. The uh, chainmail then was kind of a, a metallic bulk of metal in this case, uh, with a bit of a wash. And the flesh then is a little bit more involved, but not a whole lot. It's um, Talaran flesh, uh, which is kind of a nice good base flesh colour, uh, washed with a wash called Ogren wash. Uh, highlighted again with Talaran flesh, and then a mix of Talaran flesh and bleach bone as a final highlight. And that's about it. Um, picked up the detail then on the, on the different areas. So I used a size zero brush, I think, for pretty much all of this. Um, it's a really good kind of size brush for doing most of this kind of work. 
So as you can see I've, I've expanded actually just to see some models in process. So these guys have had, as you can see the, the browns were done, they were washed as well. Uh, the greens were highlighted slightly and the, the flesh here has just had its, its base coat so there's, that's just Talaran flesh, just applied just straight. Um, so they can come together fairly quickly. Alright, that's it for the moment. Uh, you can see there's there's plenty more Vikings to get finished. There's those four which are in process, so they're going to be Berserkers. Um, this guy is the most simple conversion in the world. Uh, just took a head from another guy and a tiny bit of green stuff to look like hair coming out the other side of the hand there. Um, and then these are old uh, Bretonian models which will do as uh, Viking thralls with bows. This in the end is going to be a fatigue marker, so I'll drop a, a dice in there with the numbered sides and to indicate the level of fatigue for that unit. I'll do similar markers for each unit in the in the final uh, war um, war host. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.